Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Own Your Health. I'll be taking you through all the items you need to prepare your ORS. First things first, you need a one liter bottle. This can be of any kind as long as it's one liter. This way you're going to do most of your preparation in. Very, very important. The next thing you're going to need is some sugar. Sugar is very important because it also gives it flavor and you're losing a lot of electrolytes, so you absolutely need it. The next item that you're going to need is some salt. Not too much though, just a little bit, just enough for your ORS. And the major ingredient that you're going to need is boiled water. You're not gonna use it while it's still hot, ouch. You're going to let it cool down. So here are all the items you're going to need to prepare your ORS. Your boiled water is going to settle and you're going to allow it to cool down. You can only prepare ORS with cool water. You're going to take your one liter bottle, take off the cap and then pour in your cool water that you have boiled and you've allowed it to settle and is now not so hot. You're going to pour that into your one liter bottle. Not until the brim though, just enough. As long as you've measured one liter. The most important thing is to make sure that this water is not hot. In order to make your job easier, take a piece of paper and create it in such a way that it looks like a funnel so that you're able to pour the teaspoons of salt and sugar properly into the ORS bottle without spillage. So what you're going to need is you're going to take six level spoons of sugar and you're going to pour it in the bottle as I am doing right now. I might be using a little bit of excessive sugar but it's still fine. So that will be my last teaspoon and then move on to the next thing which is going to be salt. You're not going to use an entire teaspoon of salt. You're only going to use half a teaspoon of salt and then you're going to pour it into your ORS bottle. The funnel is just there to make it easier for you so that there isn't spillage all over your counter. You're going to close the lid of your ORS bottle and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to mix it. Since we're working with a bottle, it's easier to shake. So shake, shake, shake. Very important. Now that you're done shaking, your ORS should not have any residue at the bottom, showing that you have mixed all your ingredients. It is now ready to drink. But remember, there are guidelines that are put in place to make sure you don't give too little or too much ORS. And I will link everything below, especially when it comes to children. So there you have it. Your ORS is ready to drink. And anytime you have any episode of vomiting or diarrhea, you can just take a cup and take a sip as you tolerate. Thank you so much for watching.